Hello and welcome, today I'm going to be making a tutorial about hosting on Ubuntu 18.04 on the SIA network. So before we start actually getting into the tutorial, we should talk about what the SIA network is. So effectively, the SIA network is a network where people that are renters can split up their data, encrypt it, and send it off to a bunch of different hosts to make sure it's secure, fast, and reliable. Also, a quick note before we actually start, please, please, please do not host on Windows. There are a ton of issues and just generally Windows is unstable for server use. So please just use Ubuntu or Arch or just literally anything besides Windows. Okay, let's get into it. So to start, you're gonna to wanna to open up Sia.tech, the Nebulous team's website, SiaCentral.com, the website for the maintainer of Host Manager, which greatly improves the hosting experience on Sia and SiaStats.info or any other community management website where you can download the consensus to speed up sync times to the blockchain. Once you've done that, you're gonna to wanna to go to downloads on Sia.tech and then download the UI for Linux. Next, go to SiaStats.info, scroll down to the bottom and download the consensus zip. Then finally click download on Sia Central, then go on the GitHub page and either download the app image or the dev file. Now make a folder called Sia and drag the app image for the Sia UI and Sia host manager. Then unzip the consensus and drag it in there as well. Now for reference, I'm gonna be using my own consensus for my Sia node on my other computer. So I'm not gonna be unzipping it, but unzipping shouldn't be an issue. Now that everything is downloaded and ready, it's time to set up the Sia hosting node. First, you're gonna to wanna to make Sia UI and Sia host manager executable. So right click on them, go to properties, go to the second tab, then make them executable. Once you've done that for both, just double click on Sia UI. It'll take a second to launch. Once it is launched, you're gonna to wanna to create a new seed. It's gonna give you this new seed and you're gonna to wanna to copy it. Now for an actual long-term node, you're gonna to wanna to put this in a secure place. But for now, I'm just gonna be putting it in a normal text file and saving it to my Sia folder. Please don't do this, please back this up. It's very important. Without the seed, you can never get back into your wallet. Now, click OK, go to the next page, and it'll ask you to fill out some of the words that are missing from your seed. After those are filled out, click Next again, and it'll start syncing to the network. So what is it doing when syncing to the network? Effectively, for computers on the blockchain to talk to each other, they need to have a detailed history of everything that has happened in the past on the network. So what's happening right now is all the other hosts are sending you the information of what happened in the past. But this can take a very long time to do. On an SSD, this can take around six hours on a good network, and on a hard drive, it can take up to two days. But gladly, there is a way to speed this up. This is what we were talking about when we downloaded the consensus file earlier. It's a pre-created file that has the consensus completely already done for you. So to use that, you're gonna to wanna to close Sia UI by using the taskbar at the top. Wait a second, it takes a second to shut off. Then go to your home directory, click on show hidden files, config, Sia UI, Sia, consensus, open up a new tab, go to your Sia folder, and then drag the consensus in to the consensus folder. Once that is done, you can close that window, go back to your Sia folder, open Sia UI, and give it a second. Even though it has the complete consensus, it will take a bit of a time for your computer to run through the history of the network and figure out what's going on. Once that is finished loading on an SSD, it took me about 20 minutes, you're gonna wanna put in your seed. So I'm just gonna copy it from the file I put in earlier. Then once that loads up, you're gonna wanna check if it's synced in the top right corner. And mine is, great. So now you're gonna wanna go down to the wallet tab and go to the receive tab. Then once in the receive tab, generate a new address. So why are we receiving SciCoin before we host? I thought you made money off this. Good question. The reason that you need funding before you can host is when you host, you have to put up collateral on your storage. This collateral is more than you get paid to store the data. The reason collateral is needed is fairly straightforward. It's an incentive structure to keep hosts from just ditching data once they get any amount of money. Now, there are a myriad of ways to get the coin needed to start hosting. You can go through a normal exchange like Kraken or Binance, or you can use something like Transact for a really easy fiat to cryptocurrency gateway, or you can just trade with a friend if you want. Now, transactions on the network take about an hour-ish, it depends. So once you send the coin, it's gonna take a bit for it to show up in the wallet tab. While you're waiting for the transaction to go through, you're gonna need to port forward. 
Port forwarding is basically opening up a direct line for other computers on the internet to talk to your computer, specifically on your network. This makes programs talking to each other much, much simpler. The actual steps to port forward vary widely from router to router, but generally, if you go to 192.168.1.1 in your web browser and log in with admin and password, you should be able to get in, but this does vary. A really great website to go to for resources on port forwarding on basically any router is portforward.com. It's very simple and easy to use. So just set it up like I did, opening up ports 9981, 9982, 9983, and 9984, and it should be good for your SIA node. Also, a couple things to note. For your SIA host to actually work, you only need to open 9982 and 9983. 9981 helps the health of the network and helps other people sync faster and 9984 is for a new renter host protocol that isn't out yet. But if you want to keep the network stable and you want to be more future proof so you don't have to port forward in the future, I would just open up 9984 and 9981. Also, I'm doing this tutorial in a VM and that's why this portion of it is in Windows. Also, one more thing, Saya only uses TCP, just for reference. Now that you have port forwarded and your transaction has come through, you're finally gonna wanna open up Host Manager. So once you open it up, just click Next, and then it'll ask you if you wanna import your settings or start anew. So we're gonna wanna import our preferences. Now, what does this mean? Host Manager can actually run by itself without another SIA UI instance. It'll just spin up its own SIA instance if it doesn't detect one. But I like the flexibility of having a SIA UI and Host Manager interface to work with. Because in SIA UI, the transaction history is better and in Host Manager, dealing with your host is better. So just having them both is great. And then once you click import, it'll take a second to load up. Now that Host Manager is loaded, you're just gonna wanna check that your balance is correct and that you're synced to the network. And now once that's done, you're gonna to wanna to go add storage to your host. So go to the add storage tab, click add folder, browse to the location that you're gonna to wanna to store on. Personally, I'm gonna be storing on this one terabyte external hard drive that I have hooked up into my VM. Then customize how much storage you're gonna to wanna to add and click add folder. Since I'm on Linux, this doesn't take long at all, but if you're on Windows, please don't do this. It can take a bit to add. Once that has been done, you're gonna wanna go down to the Configuration tab. Once in the Configuration tab, you're gonna wanna click on the little gear icon on the left-hand bar. Then you're gonna wanna set your default currency to your local currency. For me, that's US dollar. The reason you wanna do this is because the actual coin itself, for SIA coin, can fluctuate greatly in actual worth. So if you pin it to a fiat currency, you know that you're gonna get exactly how much you want instead of the market's interpretation of that over time. Then after that, click update. Now at the top, click allow contracts, then pin download price and storage price to USD. You can pin all of them to USD if you want, but these are the two most important prices. Now, the actual amount you want to charge for your storage and bandwidth is all up to you. The whole point is that it's a marketplace and you can charge whatever you want. But generally for going rates on the network, about $1 per terabyte per month for storage and $5 per terabyte per month for download bandwidth is generally the industry rate. Now, if you have a ton of storage and limited bandwidth, you could price your storage low and your bandwidth high or the other way around if you have the inverse situation. Again, it's up to you. These are just recommendations. Then the one more thing you're going to want to customize is the collateral amount. So scroll down to the bottom to the collateral section and set your collateral budget to about three times the amount of price for your hosting. So let me explain. If your price is $1 per terabyte per month, then your total collateral amount should be around $9. The reason for that is because contracts are three months long and you want your max collateral to be about three times the amount that you're hosting for. I don't currently have $9 in this wallet because I didn't feel like putting that much in, but that's what you should do. And then you can play around with the other values if you want. Now that that's basically done, just click on the bottom, update it, and then announce host. You're pretty much done. So just click announce host and click announce with the default set. Now, personally, I'm not gonna announce again because I already announced my host, so I don't need to, but that's pretty much it. So if you go to the dashboard tab, you can see that I'm already accepting contracts. I've only had my host up for about an hour or two and I'm already getting them. If your host isn't getting contracts, there's two things that could be going wrong. One, your prices just could be really high and no one wants to purchase it, which, you know, that's a thing. 
or your host could be offline. So go to the top left and click on this offline or online button, depending if it's off or online, click on it, and it'll bring you to the SIA Central troubleshooting page. On this page, if you pass five out of five tests, that means your host is all good, it's online, you shouldn't have any issues, your price just may be too high, and if any tests have failed, it'll give you some good steps to help troubleshoot. And that's pretty much it for the tutorial. If you have any questions, please join the SIA Discord and ask in the help section. I'll be happy to help and there are plenty others that would. Hosting is a great way to support this network and I personally believe that SIA is the future of the internet. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.